Be ready for whatever life throws your way. Only Dial provides a hard work and clean, but is gentle to skin with a Skin Smart Complex and three moisturizers to leave your skin feeling fresh and healthy. Nothing cleans like Dial. There is a lot of information about COVID-19 out there, so it's important to share the facts, not the virus. COVID-19 vaccines teach our cells how to fight the virus. They don't infect us. Getting vaccine boosted are the safest ways to protect against infection, including long COVID. Let's get back to the facts. Share the facts, not the virus. Find a vaccine near you at myturn.ca.gov. Every day, KTLA 5 reports to you, to all of Southern California. We are LA's very own. Right now at 5, critical conservation in California. Governor Newsom in SoCal tonight to spotlight the state's approach to tightening the tap in this historic drought. He did everything he could to fit in, to make himself one of them. Prosecutors filed charges against the man they say targeted Taiwanese church parishioners in a hate-filled mass shooting, the special circumstance that could cost him his life. What happened here is simple and straightforward, terrorism. Consoler in chief, President Biden visits the victims' families following that deadly racist rampage in Buffalo. The media field movement, he says, has no place in America. Here we go again. COVID cases spiking once more across Southern California. Could a summer surge mean a return to masking up? The news at five starts right now. This is the KTLA 5 News at 5. Good afternoon. I'm Cher Calvin. And I'm Pedro Vera. Thank you for joining us. We want to get right out to some breaking news at this point. Firefighters making quick work of a small brush fire that broke out this afternoon in Griffith Park. This is live in Sky 5 over the scene. Gill, what are you seeing now? Root about six acres in medium brush. Let me come out to a wide shot and show you where we're at. You're going to see the uh, Griffith Park Observatory there on the left-hand side of the screen. On the bottom, there are some row of homes there off of uh, Nottingham Avenue, the 2600 block. This fire breaking out of Brown, 245 this afternoon. LA City Fire responding. It started with a 50 by 50 uh, spot of fire that grew to that six acre number. They brought in uh, four water dropping helicopters to attack this fire from the air. And now we have additional four uh, camp crews from LA County Fire on scene that are assisting the crews on the ground. The fire did spread a little bit towards the uh, east and north and east here in this area here, but here's some video that we shot or was shot earlier of the firefight. Now again, six acres, it got into the, some of that brush. The firefighting helicopters came in from Mount Lee where they're getting their water from and uh, dropped on this multiple times, stopping the fire in its track an hour and 12 minutes into the fire itself. So as you come out to a live shot, you see the burn scar right here in Griffith Park. That's the latest overhead in Sky 5. I'll send it back to you in the studio. Okay, Gil, thank you. And this video just in, authorities detaining a suspect in connection to that brush fire. We'll continue to follow this breaking news and bring you more as we get it in. The threat of fire is just one of the dangers as we head into another summer of drought ahead of us. Governor Newsom comes to Southern California saying conservation is critical to stretch record low water supplies. KTLA 5's Christina Pascucci is live in Carson on the drought emergency's impact on you. Christina. Good evening to you both and welcome to the Advanced Purification Center. This was the backdrop for Governor Newsom's news conference just a short time ago. And it was to give you a look here firsthand and you can see this uh, recycled plant, this recycled water project that they're doing is a demonstration facility. They're testing out the treatment process for this innovative technology they say can really help address California's drought. They hope to have this full scale facility by the early 2030s. Since 800 A.D., we have never experienced, since 800 A.D., we have never experienced in the West Coast of the United States consecutive years, dry years, 
like we have experienced. California Governor Gavin Newsom addressed California's ongoing water challenges after three years of drought and said any water agency that hasn't imposed mandates after the executive order he signed late March will be forced to do so by June 10th. 400 of 436 water agencies have approved plans that they've either moved on or will be moving on. And the rest, which is about 8%, will have mandates thrust upon them. He spoke on the side of Carson's Joint Water Pollution Control, which treats 260 million gallons of wastewater a day. Behind him, the Recycled Water Project, a partnership between the Metropolitan Water District and L.A. County Sanitation District that by about 2030 intends to provide advanced treatment of wastewater to make it drinkable. The full-scale facility will produce 150 million gallons of water every day, enough to serve more than 500,000 homes making it one of the largest purification facilities in the world. If they're successful scaling this water recycling project at the scale they're proposing, there'll have never been a project like this in U.S. history. Citing the need for more water resources, you voiced support for building the Poseidon desalination plant that the Coastal Commission just unanimously voted.